All right, let's get started with this chapter, and this is going to be section 5.1, and polynomial functions and models is what we're doing here. So a number of objectives. There's a lot of problems here, but they're all kind of small pieces that we put together for a big goal, which is graphing polynomials. So first things first, what is a polynomial, how can we identify it, and what is their degree? So a polynomial function is of this form. What we're looking at here is a coefficient and then x to some power. A coefficient and then x to some power that's smaller by 1. So something like 5x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. Here's the constant at the end. That would be a polynomial. All right. In our powers, no fractions, no negatives in the powers to be a polynomial. All right, so let's take a look. Which of these are uh, polynomial functions? This one is a yes. This one is a yes because our powers are all either, or they're just all whole numbers. No fractions, so C is out of here. No negatives, so D is out of here. E is a little tricky right here, but it's negative five. You could write this as X to the zero, so this is absolutely a polynomial as is f here. This is just not distributed in here. If you distributed, it would be three, sorry, three times two is six, six s cubed minus three s. And so that is a polynomial. For those that are, state the degree. So the degree of a is five, the biggest power you can find. The degree on b is two. The degree on, let's skip to h here. h here, the degree would be three. And then coming back to E here, what's the degree? The degree is zero. So if you're a constant, the degree is zero. All right, and 11 and 15 are yours to try. So a quick summary here. No degree is when you have zero, you gotta have some sort of constant. So if we have a constant, the degree would be zero. It's a constant function. If we have x to the first, we are linear. That's a degree of one. And if we are quadratic, we have a degree of two. All right, so let's talk about polynomials, what they look like if we graph them. So two very important things make you not a polynomial. Sharp edges called cusps, okay, and gaps in here, all right, are not going to be polynomials. If we're smooth and continuous, we get to be a polynomial function. Let's talk about specific polynomial functions called power functions. So a power function is a single term raised to some power. So 5x squared, yes. 5x squared plus 2, no. All right, so just a single term. So a couple of examples here. 3x, there's degree 1, degree 2, degree 3, degree 4. All power functions because they're just single terms. And we use these because power functions are all going to look very similar. All right, so an example, this is graphed x to the fourth, x to the eighth, and x to the twelfth. So you'll notice here that the steepest graph is x to the twelfth. The flattest graph here is x to the fourth. But power functions, these three points are always going to be on your graph. If you are even, so x squared, x to the fourth, x to the thirty-second, doesn't matter, look here is the 11, that's going up the most steeply, and the 3 is the flattest, but if we